After days of uncertainty, Pyongyang finally accepted the list of South Korean reporters who were initially invited to witness the North's dismantling of its key nuclear test site. The journalists, along with their international counterparts, have finally taken off to Punggye-ri. Lee ji has our top story. Reporters from five countries, the U.S., China, Russia, the U.K., and South Korea, left Wonsan at around 7 p.m. Korea time to head for the Punggye-ri nuclear test site. This comes after eight South Korean reporters whose North Korean visas had not been confirmed due to friction between Seoul and Pyongyang finally got the green light from the North Wednesday morning and arrived in North Korea's east coast city of Wonsan at around 3 p.m. The reporters departed from the Seoul Air Base in Seongnam at around half past noon on a government aircraft flying over the East Sea straight to Wonsan. While the international reporters had already arrived at the city Tuesday and were supposed to get on a train to Punggye-ri that night, the plan had been postponed until Wednesday morning, supposedly due to bad weather, according to Sky News correspondent Tom Cheshire, a British reporter on the trip. But the journey to the Punggye-ri nuclear test site, some 500 kilometers away, is expected to be a tough one as well. The reporters are to travel some 420 kilometers by train from Wonsan to Jaedok Station, near the entrance to the massive test site. And with the railway's poor condition, the train is expected to run at a speed of only 35 kilometers per hour, which means it'll take 12 hours or more. And from the station, the reporters will get on a bus for another four hours, followed by a two-hour hike to the site. They're expected to arrive at the Punggye-ri nuclear test site at around noon on Thursday. But according to what the North has said before, the dismantling of the test site will only happen if the weather permits, otherwise it could have to wait until Friday. The reporters will not have their phones or access to the Internet while they're at the site or en route, so reports or footage of the dismantlement won't be sent out until they get back to Wonsan, where a press center has been set up for the reporters to work in. Meanwhile, it seems like preparations for the event are already over at the site. U.S.-based North Korea monitoring website 38 North says two probable viewing areas for the reporters near the portals have been identified on satellite images. Moreover, small white shelters have been built near the south, north, and west portals, which look like storage for chemical explosives for the upcoming demolition of the portals. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.